beans. Beans are the cheapest medicine we have that we don't even realize. They have all the benefits, they have the same amount of protein that you'll find in a meat portion, but they have none of that fat, none of the cholesterol, none of the other problems that comes from meat. And they are packed with fiber and they're packed with all these amazing stuff. So it's really, really a good habit to incorporate beans in your diet on a regular basis. They are a great source of zinc. Zinc is very important for hair growth and for repairing the hair. So even if you have damaged hair or you have the follicles are smaller and there's infection or whatever, this is good if you have zinc, helps your hair recover or repair itself. So that's important. You can also get iron from beans. Iron, like I said, a lot of people are deficient in iron, which is why they lose hair. So one, other than meats, the best place to get iron is from beans. But just remember that anytime iron is coming from a plant source, not an animal source, then you will need to add some kind of vitamin C to help absorb iron because the iron in meats get absorbed quickly in our body, but the iron in plants take need some extra effort. So making sure you add lemon or tomato to your chole, for example, or to your rajma is a good idea because that take, puts the vitamin C that helps to, to absorb the iron. Examples of beans would be any kind of beans, really rajma, kidney beans, like um, all kinds of legumes. You can also do lentils. Lentils also kind of falls in this group. They have similar nutrients. So maybe two, I would say use three or more times a week if you can get beans somehow in your diet. It's very good. So whether it's through dal, so I would say maybe do dal once and then do a little bit of chole or rajma some other time. So just mix it up and just make sure you get a variety of different beans in your diet.